for today. I'm autistic and proud. Oops. Not afraid to talk about it out loud. And why would I fear sharing that I like me? All of me, especially this neurodiverse brain of me. I'm savant with creativity, alive with visual language. Forget the superhighway, this brain is an information constellation, technical ancestor, internet goddess, pattern finder and seeker, keyboard warrior, and new media memory keeper. I don't care about sports or square root, but let's talk HTML, social media, incredible hair. I didn't have a big hat, so I made really big hair. <laughs> And, oh, hot damn, just not politics. Mm -mm. At least not until we can find the concentric overlap of neurotypical and autistic and define the shared spectrum of communication before we debate this kind of shit. I am autistic and proud. Hate them all, large crowds. Millions of emotions on way too many faces that rudely jostle my mental spaces. Senses shocked with neural zaps, until scattered laps, and thought connectivity. Smashed, dashed, and whiplashed. Days later, processing still, micro-expression of two big eyes. Party smiles and a billion social patterns unrecognized. All memories branded with intricate dodge and burn, processed and co complete, archived for later, until the need to be retrieved. This Images, first, language recall. Need English words. First, I must translate to communicate, and that's if I can get this mouth and eyes to synchronize without a timeout denied. I'm autistic and proud. Yes, this specific divergent never born in a box mind comes complete with an executive function slip. Oh, sensory integration, disorder chip, plus a shitty memory stick. Annoying cognitive pause that constantly sticks. An MP3 glitch. Mm. Max Headroom Twitch. <laughs> Trying not to. <laughs> oh, there it goes. All right, alerting others that on second look beneath this bitch in fashion and fuchsia blue pearl lipstick. My swag is quirky and a maze falls different. I'm autistic and proud, not afraid to shout it out loud. And why should I fear being heard? It's absolutely okay for me to like me, to want to see people like me on covers of fashion magazines, hanging with amazing geeks, getting fleek with YouTubers known about the autistic beat. There's nothing wrong with my glitter and glam. Oh no, dreaming of divergent fashion brands. This is my genetic heritage, displayed loud and brain proud. I like me, all of me, especially this neurodiverse brain of me. I'm autistic and proud. So that's when I love. We don't usually get told that it's okay to be proud, so. And you wouldn't think that would be a revolutionary thing to say, I like me. But when you're autistic, pff, it's revolution. All right, so here's something a little less uh, noisy. It's called Chaos and the Quiet, and this is uh, sort of an explanation or prose of my experience with sensory integration disorder. Called Chaos and the Quiet. I stand here barefoot on carpet the fiber of comfort and home pressed into my souls. My roommate, the quiet, stands with me. We watch branches and leaves swing through a wet window. The quiet doesn't echo the cacophony in my mind. Instead, it's a friend and wraps me in a swath of emptiness like a blanket. It provides comfort and fear, and its silence feels like a threat bared, button-eyed love hugged fierce in the dark. It comforts more than honey chamomile and says absolutely nothing. 
when I need it the most. The quiet is never jealous when I return home. It doesn't chide that I stink of chaos and then shame me for where I've been. No. Solitude is always offered and I am reminded this is where I belong. No matter what, I can always be here and seek peace from the constant crackle of the storm. Oh, but I love to be drunk with chaos. It's scented with life. Rebellion of the quiet can be delicious and decadent. The body high, incredible, when saturated with voice, intoxicated with vibration and drenched in indiscriminate light. And that's not enough. <laughs> My skin seeks what it can't always have, human touch. It need be nothing more grandiose than the pressed cheek pillow. And an honest hug, even a sincere handshake will do, that brief, warm connection to real life. A moment of humanity. Oh hell, I'm alive. To hell with the quiet and bring on the noise. I fight chaos, I fight pain. I rage against the invisible and stand emboldened again. Welcome me into the world, your bumping, thumping, chiming, beeping, clicking noise. Dominated world. I want to hear your chatter, songs and curse. Light me up with a message flash. Photo snap, headlights, swerve, blinking, streaking, electronic billboard. Street light and spotlight, share with me the synchronicity of community. I want to know your vibe and fill your heart. Let's dance, let's play, let's read our words. Smack the table, ring the bell, roar and applause. Conversation overlapping, conversation. I want to know, no. It doesn't matter that the commotion shorts my wiring. Like an addict, my brain's dependent, and I need more. More of you, more of this. Give me decadence. Give me decadence until my head explodes and my knees smack the floor. Let's overindulge until I shake, rattle, and hum. A staccato inconsistent to the tunes Bono has sung. Let me feel alive completely. This one moment, full sensory integration. I'm going to do this until chaos and rebellion fry my mind. Even then, I'll be an apologetic when rise and agony arrive. With my unrepentant soul spent, I will seek the quiet, my mistress of silence, to love me healthy so I can flirt with chaos again.